Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video y'all, another spring set y'all. I was feeling blue y'all, I was feeling blue. I haven't done any blue recently so I'm like let's do some blue. But without further ado y'all, let's get into the video. The products I will be using are gonna be one Nail Houses Malibu which is that blue acrylic and then I will be using Mia Secrets Cover Pink Nude and those are the only two acrylics that I will be using for this set. I'll be incorporating some gels later, but for now, those are going to be the acrylics that I'll be using. And of course, as always, I have one in Nail House's 3XL square tips, but I did cut them down for this set because I was just feeling going a little shorter today as well, or for this video. For this set, y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yes, also I am using Nail House's size 16 Klinsky brush, as always, as well as their Pro Monomer. So this set is going to be pretty simple. I really love that this set was really like simple, um, but it was still cute. And I think this one is very beginner friendly. Like it'll be easy for a beginner to follow along and do this set because it's much more simpler than sets that I normally do. Um, we're going to be doing, like I said, some blue and some butterflies and things like that. So without further ado, y'all, or any further rambling, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy this application.
all right y'all so that is how the first two nails are looking and again i just wanted to mention that that nude there is me and secrets cover pink it's my go-to nude or one of my go-to nudes and the remaining nails are going to be a, a blue ombre but then the pinky will be full blue and the blue that i'm using here is again from nail house it's one of their new acrylics which i absolutely love it's a baby blue color i love it so much it is called malibu and you all will notice when i do my ombre nails i like to swipe the color upward just so that it's already kind of like blended or like well not blended but like kind of blended ombre or whatever so that when i lay down the next color it can blend like seamlessly and also donna if you hear girl i did not forget about your ombre tutorial you wanted so um don't kill me <laughs> i do remember that you want that tutorial and it will be coming soon
All right, this is how the application is looking pre-encapsulation. And I'm going to go ahead and just encapsulate the ombre nails Oh, as well as that blue nail. You all will see that I almost forgot the blue nail. Um, but I'm only going to be capping those because the uh, nudes don't need encapsulating. Um, and I'm going to be using Me Secrets Clear Acrylic. All right, y'all, here's how we are looking post-encapsulation. And next, I'm going to move into, of course, shaping and filing. And if you all want a full in-depth shaping tutorial, I feel like I say that a lot, but I don't know how many of you all are new and maybe not know. But I do have one on my channel, and it is linked in the description below if you all want to check it out.
All right, y'all, this is how we're looking with the shaping and filing complete. And yes, I was feeling like a straight thumb for this set. I was just in the mood for that. So no curved thumb this time. We're going to move in now into buffing the nails and then we're going to do these designs, y'all. All right, y'all, so let's get into these designs. So I'm gonna be doing some Frenches, and to do so, I'm gonna be using Nail House's Baby Blue Gel Polish. And for this one in particular, the first one we're gonna do is gonna be a um, regular French tip, and we're gonna be doing some blue butterflies over it. And I'm gonna be using my Nail House liner brushes. Excuse the way they look, y'all. They look crazy a little bit. Um, it's just some like gel and glitter and all of that on it, and it's peeling some. But anyway, ignore that. I'm going to be using Nail House's liner brushes. And they're size 25mm, um, which is their longest one, the one I'm using right now. And their other one I'm going to be using is their 12mm, which I like to use to fill in those side walls um, of the French. And if you guys do not have these liner brushes or at least one, I do highly recommend it. And if you do try one, I highly recommend this one right here, the 25mm. It helps um so much with your frenches and just all types of line work but i do recommend highly recommend the whole entire set you know for the shorter ones going in more detail and things like that but like these liner brushes are super bomb and some of the girls on here can vouch for that in the comments below the ones who've ordered them and tried them for themselves and of course they love them i highly recommend them they are super bomb and you need to get your hands on at least one of them or two <laughs> or however many you can and again, the link to Nail House is in the description below. All right, y'all, so I did two coats of that gel and I cared it for 60 seconds. And now I'm gonna go on with these butterflies. I got both of these from AliExpress. And actually, this one that's in my hand right now is actually also available on Shein. I found them recently there. Um, so yeah, they're very pretty. And of course, we're gonna be using blue. And I'm kind of just gonna put them on the nail like a little randomly.
Okay, y'all, so that's that. Super cute. And um, the other butterfly stickers are from AliExpress as well. But we're going to move on now. I'm going to go ahead and do a French as well on the index fingernail. And this one's actually going to be a glitter French instead. So for that French y'all, as y'all saw, I used Zule's Lujosa Glitter and um, I cured that for 60 seconds. And right now, y'all, I'm going to go in on the pinky nail with that same gel color baby blue from Nail House. And I was going to leave like the base of it, but I wanted it to be the same color as the other like Frenches. So I just went ahead and um, painted it over the whole nail baby blue from Nail House. And then we're going to apply the glitter to that full nail as well. So y'all, let me tell y'all what happened to me today. This is kind of random, but not really because, okay, so I want to edit, like, I went to my videos that I'm currently editing. I like to edit multiple videos at once. And one of the videos that I was editing was the, or was this Shein haul that I had for y'all. 
and so I went and clicked on it and it was like missing videos i'm like missing videos i'm like oh snap i must have accidentally deleted them so i went to my recently deleted and they were gone y'all i had a whole she and a haul for y'all that was really good that got deleted and i'm just so sick right now like that really really sucks like it was a good good she and haul and I was just kind of mad, so I went on Shein today and I started shopping around, <laughs> but I didn't get much because, y'all, I don't like to get stuff that I know I won't use, so I didn't really get much at all, so I don't know, y'all. I'll have, like, a small Shein, coming, Shein haul coming soon, but um, that just really sucks that that footage got deleted. I thought that I, I had multiple Shein hauls in my um, phone, y'all, because I know I've been posting them lately, and I thought it was the one that I deleted that i've already done but it wasn't come to find out it was the one that i had not posted and showed y'all yet it's just like uh that sucks but you know what it's okay like i'm not gonna make i'm not, not gonna let it you know make me upset or anything like that or sad um but yeah i just wanted to say that so i'm sorry y'all and i probably shouldn't have told y'all but i kind of already made a post earlier today let y'all know but um I am going to make another she and haul coming soon for y'all. But anyway, as y'all can see, I went in with Dynamic No Supplies Matte Top Coat to top coat these nails. And now we're going to be doing the designs over top. And I'm going to be doing so using McCart's Rhinestone Glue. Y'all, I've been loving this glue lately, as y'all can tell. I've been using it in like every video lately. Um, I actually really like it, y'all. I really, really do like it. Also, um, as y'all can see, I went with a few different designs for or not went with but i tried a few different designs for this middle fingernail here y'all because i was super indecisive like y'all this is me like every single time i do nails i'm super indecisive and some of y'all be seeing that when i'm on live like i don't know but um anyway also while i'm thinking about it um not about that but about this glue i think Hamena, you have mentioned recently that they made i think it was Hamena that they had made these rhinestone or not rhinestone these mccart rhinestone glues with like a precision tip and i thought that's what it was that was what that is maybe it's something else you're talking about like maybe i have to search it okay i'm back so i looked it up and i see what you're talking about they have the tubes with the small precision like the little metal tip um that's interesting i do actually want to try it i'm gonna put it on the screen for those of you who never seen it or heard of it and want to see what it is i'm talking about um uh, i think i'm going to try it out thanks amanda for re recommending that to me um also i wanted to ask have any of you all tried mccart's um dust collector let me know that in the comment section below is it any good is it worth it let me know because i've been thinking about getting it for a while now so let me know if any of you all have tried mccart's dust collector let me know Okay, so as y'all can see, I have decided to go ahead and go with some cuticle bling on both the middle fingernail and the thumbnail, y'all, because I was super indecisive, but that is what I decided, and I guess I can say you can never go wrong, really, with, like, cuticle bling, but fun fact, I don't really care to do cuticle bling on myself, like, I don't know, but I don't really care to do it, but I, I like, I literally never do it, so I'm like, let me go ahead and try to see how that look, and it came out pretty cute, so... That's what I did. I added like a couple of little stones to the index fingernail and the cuticle area as well. And that's all I did, y'all. And I realized that I never came back to show y'all like how the nails look after curing the bling on there, y'all. I totally forgot to come back, y'all. Um, I ended up just starting taking pictures or videos. Um, but I will insert my final final results here in a moment. All right, y'all, and this is how the nails turned out, y'all. They came out so cute. They are so simple and beginner-friendly, yet, like I said, very, very cute. I love... Y'all know my favorite color is blue, besides black, and I just love these so much. They're super, like I said, simple, yet very, very cute, and definitely giving spring vibes. But if y'all enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as I do, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Comment which sets you want to see me do next. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that you're notified each and every single time that I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.